What's up everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day. Jim from Backyarders TV here. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Today I want to talk about my Corsair K95 keyboard and the IQ software that controls the lighting effects. Uh, I do get a few questions about this on stream because I do have the keyboard camera set up and people can see the lights going off. So today we're just going to explain how we add all the different layers and get the lighting effects the way you want it. Let's jump into it. All right, so here we are in the IQ software, and this is the default profile I am running. Uh, it just does a rainbow swirl. It's a pretty simple pattern that uh, is one of the pre-selects. So we're gonna create our own fresh pattern. So what you need to do is go across to profiles and create a new one. And here we are down here, and we are then gonna drop down to lighting effects, and we're just gonna bring up lighting effects. So you can see here, we've got a blank slate, all the lights are off. So first thing we want to do is apply a new lighting effect. So hit the plus sign on the lighting. Uh, it selects every key and uh, does a default pattern here. Um, and as soon as you click on a button, it goes back to that button being selected. So what I want to do is do a layer for WASD and my one through five buttons. Um, to select multiple keys that aren't in a, in a row, you can click and drag. But if you want to select multiple selections, hold the control button and you can just in click individual items. So WASD and one, two, three, four, and five. So that is still running the spiral rainbow um, image on those buttons now. So we want to change that to a static color and I want it to be yellow. And here you can set your opacity, which will be effectively the brightness of it. Um, and that's it, That's that one's done. So now we want to add uh, another layer and do some different keys. So Hit the plus button again. Um, now, these are all based on layers, so whatever, whatever is on top here on the left-hand side takes precedent over the one underneath it. We'll cover this in a little bit more detail as we add our final layer, but you'll see as we progress here that the layers do matter at some point. So, on this layer, I want to have my reload button, uh, my G key, my C, control and alt, uh, what else, our Q, and you know what, even E, that's fine. And you can pick whichever ones you want, doesn't matter. <clears throat> um, and my shift button as well. So here I want this to be static as well, and I want this to be blue. So let's add another layer. And on this layer, I wanna deal with the bar along the top. The K95 has this additional bar along the top, which you can um, program differently. So we've got that set. Again, it defaults to the rainbow, uh, but for that, section, I want to make it a visor, so it's going to pulse back and forth. And here you can change colors. At the moment, it's set to random colors. You can set it to go between blue and red, or whatever you like, you know. Anything you like, you can have it pulse, uh, pulsating around. So it's totally up to you. Fully customizable. So what I want to do, though, is just uh, remove or deselect these three bits in the middle, and I'm going to hold control again, and click on those, and we're going to set another layer for that. There we go, we've got our pulse going through, and we might take off that volume button there as well. Good, so uh, let's add another layer. And now let's deal with this middle section. So here, I want this to be static, and I want it to be white, so I can always see the Corsair logo, um, bright and prominent. So there we go, nice and bright. We've got Corsair as always being white. We've got our blue-green pulse along the top, and we've got our buttons, um, yellow and blue, on the sides. Excellent, so let's add one more and this will be a final layer. So let's have a look at the layers once more on the left hand side. If I was to drag the rainbow down to the bottom, see now we have our static WASD, uh, our Q and E there, there as well. But because the rainbow is such a dramatic effect, it is, it is sort of, you know, washing those out a bit. Our pulse is still going along the top and our white is still there. So let's get rid of the spiral rainbow on this. And I'm gonna try rain. There you go. So now we've got the rain happening while we've got our WASD static, our pulsing along the top, and our white, um, our white is uh, there in the middle for us. That's how the layers work. Now if the layer was on top, if rain is on top, it would overwrite. You will see now my um, WASD is actually flicking and changing color as well as it hits it. So you lose a bit of that effect. So by putting it, uh, the rain at the bottom, the WASD is no longer affected by the rain at all. 
So you can play with any of the colors here. Again, you can do your alternating colors or you can just have it rainbow and it will randomly choose its colors as it goes. You can also change the speed of any of the effects by uh, dragging the slider down from fast, medium uh, to slow. So if you want a slow rain, you can do that. If you want it medium, I think medium is the default. Um, and every every layer here can be selected. Uh, you know, you can go fast along the top with the pulse. Uh, I prefer that to actually be slow. Nice, slow and steady thing. Uh, one thing here, you can see we've got the rain along the top visor. And so that is causing us issues. So what we'd do to get rid of that on this, um, on this layer so when the pulse isn't working, the rain is still hitting that top one. So what we'll do on the rain layer, we'll just deselect that area. Okay, so none of this area will be affected by rain, only the keyboard proper. Um, and, and yeah, perfect. All right, my friends, I'm gonna leave it there for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll happily answer for you. Uh, you can jump across to Twitch if you haven't already. Twitch.tv slash TV is my channel. I stream Sunday to Thursday, 3 p.m. through to 11, uh, Australian Eastern Standard Time. And I do have a keyboard camera set up so you can see this in action. Until next time, friends, thanks so much for watching once again. Have a great one.